I definitely have got a reptile. Just look at that. Now, while this doesn't look like much, barring a long green lizard lying on a rock, let me show you how big it is. It should be roughly about, that is probably about a four to a six foot lizard. And you won't, you won't really believe what I'm going to say now to you, but this is the primary predator of the Nile crocodile. Can you believe it? Not only is it the second, um, the second uh, longest lizard in the world behind the Komodo dragon and growing up to a maximum length of about 9 to 12 feet, but these guys specialize in hunting for crocodile eggs. And although not much can tackle the 2,000 pound uh, crocodile, and nothing much does barring other crocodiles, the vast majority of crocodiles are killed in their first couple of weeks of life, and that includes life in the eggs. And a vast portion of those, uh, of those eggs are dug out and eaten by these water monitor lizards. And isn't, there, isn't the adaptations on this lizard fantastic? So let's just go forward a little bit and have a look at, uh, at the front claws. They are superbly designed for digging. As you can see, massive forearms and very, very robust claws on the end of those forearms make climbing up mud banks on sand in trees and everything that much easier and then of course scraping away at uh, at at the uh, at the sand where the crocodiles lay their eggs for those of you who didn't know in the sand um, about two to three feet deep and using a very sensitive sense of smell and taste these monitor lizards can gauge where those are and then they will dig open the nests using those claws let's move down the body a little bit because there's a few other very cool adaptations on this lizard. Obviously their back feet for me are some of the best. Not only do they use those four forward facing toes to climb with, and very effectively they can climb up, down and horizontally on branches. And just have a look at how hooked those are. That's just something out of a science fiction movie, isn't it? But they also have one toe that is slightly backwards facing and that is so that they can hang upside down. Isn't that the most bizarre thing that you've ever seen? Just look at that weird back foot. Interesting, huh? And then they've got another adaptation. Their tail is flattened uh, dorsoventrally, which means that it's flattened uh, like you were pushing your hands together. And that is so that this lizard can swim. An exceptionally gifted swimmer. You can have a look at how much movement they can generate uh, on that tail. It can swim very, very fast. They, put up, they pick up weight uh, in fat and they deposit it in their tails and their back. And this little lizard looks particularly skinny. I can imagine that it could do with a meal or two. Anyway, what we're going to do is leave this lizard to carry on sunning itself. That's what it's doing. Please excuse me for not explaining it a little bit earlier. So this lizard is just enjoying the late afternoon sun draped over a sandbank right now. I'll keep a view on him and see what he's doing. You're off to James who's got a massive herd of elephant to show you.